Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flex Studios, and let's get started. First of all, I did a little bit of prep work to speed things along. I created the terrain, added some hills for some variety other than a flat plain. I added a texture to that, uh, to the terrain, and that's about it for the terrain. Um, I also brought in the third person controller and a few things we have to do to the third person controller is set the animations because somehow they get lost so real quick run and jump and set the camera main camera and that's it and I'm going to apply this and it will save it to this prefab down here and and that's that okay I created my project structure like so I have a models folder scenes scripts textures and they contain what their names are uh, I did forget to add terrain and prefabs So I just created those, put the terrain in the terrain folder, and really what I can do is take the standard assets, put the third person controller in my prefabs folder, and just to keep it what I'm using in the actual folders. Okay, and now we can create a couple of scripts. We're going to have three scripts. They're going to be... Uh, HUD pickup and flashlight and in case you didn't already notice I will be coding everything in C sharp okay so to get started We're going to start with the HUD script, and we don't need the void or we don't need the start or update method. Just going to clean it up a little bit how I like it. Oh, by the way, I am using Visual Studio Professional or Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Um, this will work. All this code will work in with model develop and with the ID that I highly highly suggest which is C sharp uh, Express which can be freely downloaded from Microsoft I, I will put a link in the notes in the description and uh, so you can download that real quick uh, before we start coding there is one more setting I want to set uh, in the game to make it so you actually need a flashlight and that's the ambient light and that can be found render settings ambient light what I did I set this to 15 15 15 And when we play it, it's really, really dark. Okay, I set the alpha to zero. I'm going to set it back to 255. Because it actually does change when you press play, but it doesn't when you're in edit mode, which is actually a good thing because you can actually see what you're doing. Okay, so to the scripts on the HUD class we're gonna surprisingly enough set up the HUD uh, we're gonna have two static variables a static variable will stay uh, it's almost like a constant across all of the classes I can access this variable and then there would only be one of them even if the HUD 
class gets instantiated multiple times. But uh, I'm going to use a, two, two static variables to hold some information that we'll need in the other variables. And that will be public static int battery count, public static bool has flashlight. And then for GUI stuff, we need void on GUI. And we're going to use a little bit of logic in here. The on GUI method gets called every couple frames or every frame. And if there's logic in there, it will process that logic. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if has flashlight and we're going to have GUI label okay um, I had to I paused the video real quick because I had to close down and restart Visual Studio because IntelliSense wasn't working that's one reason why I highly highly suggest the Visual Studio IDE over Mono Develop is the IntelliSense because when I go GUI, now it gives me what can be part of that GUI class. So I'm going to go label to rect, stands for rectangle. I'm going to put it at 10, 10, 80, 30. It's going to say flashlight. And then to make a another line that's exactly the same as that line. I'm going to press control D but I'm going to modify the position just a little bit by 60 pixels so it's going to be at 70, 10, 10 or 70, 10, 80, 30 and that's going to say that's going to hold this the battery life which is going to be in the flashlight class and the this is another static variable, but and it isn't created yet, so it's going to yell at me. I'm going to do F2 to make the precision to two decimal places. And that's really sharper working for me, doing the spacing after the, the commas and everything. Okay, and that's the end of that if statement. So these two lines only get executed if this bool up here has flashlight is true. And with the bool, you, this is the same as saying that. But with the bool, it can only be true or false. So if it just is, then, you, then that means it is true. If I want to say is not has flashlight, I would put an exclamation point behind it and that means not this that has flashlight. So if the bool was false, then this if statement would execute because I'm asking if not. Okay, and the next label we're going to do is GUI label new rect. I'm going to put that at 10, 40, 80, 30. This is going to hold the battery count. Just call it batteries. Going to duplicate it and then put it at 70, 40, 80, 30. And this text is going to be battery count to string because it, it's expecting a string and up here better count is a, an int so we have to convert it with to string okay and let's see because of this what I'm going to do is comment this out this one line so that I can play this in unity and you can see it isn't there because I didn't attach it to anything. So what I'm going to do is take this HUD script, drag it on the game manager, 
This one I can remove. Okay, pretend that wasn't there. Okay, and with HUD attached, it's actually going to run. Press play, and boom. Batteries zero. And the flashlight text isn't there because of that logic we said it has. Uh, if it has flashlight, it, w it doesn't run. So if we wanted to, we could now use that if not has flashlight. And I, all I did was press control S to save it. Come back in here, it recompiles it, press play, and now we got both of them. So that, that's an example of the logic. Okay, and it looks like I'm a little bit over 10 minutes. I'm going to stop here and continue in the next. Thank you.